Good evening, sports fans all across the world. Thank you for watching this exciting entertainment of NWAC action here at the O'Connell Sports Complex on the campus of Clark College. I'm Paul Marshall. Now for the Clark Penguins, this marks their first time in the South Division. Both these schools have played each other, but now these games have more meaning. And number two, this is the second time these teams will face each other. And also, if you're looking for a list of three, Clark is also on a three-game winning streak, so maybe the Panthers perhaps do have something to say to counteract their, the momentum that the Penguins have gone on. Titans in this tough NWAC schedule. That is the pacemaker, and tonight we did speak with both Cheyenne and Cache, and they said they're good to go. They wouldn't want to miss a game like this because now everything is on the line. Even though it's the fourth game within the division, these games are much more important, and that's what we'll have tonight here on Portland Sports Network. Well, we've got some very good basketball coming up here first on the women's side. Yes, we do. We have the women's game coming up first, and at 7.30 you have the men's game. And I'm sure just like the women, the men also have something to prove. And stay with us on Portland Sports Network, where we're going to have more NWAC action. And that shot is turned away. And Akel says, I'll take that, and I'm going back the other way. And Akel's with a little shimmy shimmy ya uh, to bring the deficit to seven, 7.50 in the second quarter. Angelique Williams, in the words of DJ Khaled, another one. And that deficit is now down to five, 7.30 in this second quarter. Well, they're looking into the post first, but then they're telegraphing the pass up to the top of the key when they reset the motion offense, and that's just not the tempo that Coach Aldridge wants. He wants a crisper pass. He wants one that isn't obvious to create this steal. Here's another one for Akel. How about a list of three? That's three in a row. And Akels will score as she clapped back and says, and one. We've got a one possession game here with seven minutes in the second quarter. It's a six nothing run for Portland. Williams faces a double. I don't think that pass was intentional. No. <laughs> She's the other good spot shooter besides Banks. Angelique Williams with the steal. Bynum. Count the basket. She's earned herself a trip to the line. Now, following Saturday's game against Umpqua Community College, Bynum said she came down with the double whammy of dehydration and food poisoning. And during Monday's practice, she didn't feel up to it. But she said after Tuesday, she went to the hospital and she was able to get some medication. And ever since then, she's been better. But that was interesting. I asked her, had she ever been double whammy with not one, but two? She says, no, I've never. I, that's never happened to me. So she's able to make the three point play and the Panthers are up by two, so. Siva, who has recorded two double doubles in the season, will be looking for her. Uh, been cold though. And there's the primary three point threats for each team. That has had a factor in what our score is right now. I guess the equivalent of Newsom's corner shot would be if you're playing a game of horse, that one person who always knows that behind the backboard, they'll make it. As Barbara Leone comes in and drains a three. Now it's down to a one possession game. She just would like to see a little more consistency in form. It's getting open. Monique Washington with the southpaw layup to push the lead to 11.